I'm Max Harrell. I'm president of the Science Club. And today we have a couple of local schools out here. I think we have about 50 students and they're here to see what Chipola has to offer and hopefully see what it's like to be a STEM major here at Chipola. We have engineers and engineering majors as well as a professor from FSUPC. On the next section, we have some Chipola programs here. We have business engineering technology over there with a 3D printer that looks really cool. And they're explaining to them about their program, uh, the club that they can join, the business club here at Chipola. Next to them, we have engineering technology, which is a two-year two -year degree, I believe, and you can get it from here. There's many scholarships available that will actually pay full tuition. And you're pretty much guaranteed a job right out of Chipola as a um, graduate. Here in our corner, we have Dr. Clark and Dr. Cuccio, as well as Dr. Bodart and their respective classes and majors. The microscopes, which people are taking swabs of their cheek cells and dyeing them, staining them, and looking at them. And we have models of the human leg, human arm, and human skeleton. We have sheep brains and pig hearts, which is really interesting. We have a horse skull, and an actual replica of a human head. Science experiments done by JT. He, we have liquid nitrogen, we have straight oxygen balloons, which I believe at the end he's gonna culminate and do a huge science experiment. We're gonna have to stick around and watch that. Dr. Clark has designed us an escape room, which is really neat. It takes about 35 minutes to complete 3545, and the key is to work together, because if you scatter at the start, you're not going to be able to put them all together in the end and figure out the clue. It's really riveting. It's really fun. All right, I'd like to thank everybody for coming out today. It was definitely very successful to me, I know. I really wanted to get the community involved in this, and it really turned out well. Awesome.